This is Julie. Hey, Calendar, what's my morning like? Julie's about to have a long day. At 9 a.m., soccer carpool. 9.10, purchase birthday card. 9.05, dry cleaning. Did you just go backwards? I'm sorry, I can't fit that question into your schedule. <sighs> 9.15, cry for a little bit. For days that won't end, let Schwann's help. With Schwann's, you can get delicious meals that go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. Visit today at schwanns.com. The Starlight Lounge presents An Evening with the Progressive Box. Oh, the moon, yeah. That's Hugo, tickling the ivories. He just saved by bundling home and auto with Progressive. Gonna finally buy a ring for that gal of yours, Hugo? Send her my condolences. hi oh. This next one's for you, too. There's a burglar in my heart. Thank you. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discounts not available in all states or situations. Good. She got the point, right? This is Jim the Keys, bartender. I'm here with Joel and Jack. I'm going to turn down this music here. Stop it all of a sudden. Uh, I, this is uh, Joel. We won't say our last names right there. This is Jack uh, to protect Joel because you, Jack doesn't probably care. I'm a threat to Joel. Okay. So you need to protect him. Well, this is Jim the Keys, bartender. I met Joel and his wife. I don't know if you want to say her name. Yeah. Okay. It's all right? You're, and you know if you hold the mic closer, they'll hear you better. Gabby. Okay. <laughs> and Jack, who? You, what's your wife's name? Bonnie. Bonnie, okay. But you uh, haven't met Bonnie. You haven't met I me. met her briefly when she came in. She's a lovely woman. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and your wife? Is Abby. Abby and Gabby. Uh, oh, my God. Lines. There you yep. go. Yep. Abby, uh, Gabby, and Bonnie. Yeah, so <laughs> I've met uh, Joel and Gabby after the... Um, was it right after? No, it was two years ago. Was it two years ago? Or this is our what? fourth year. I, no, when I met you. Yeah, but I'm saying this. You, is you think year. I met met you four years ago? It's or possible. Well, okay. I wouldn't yeah. preclude that. I'm just yeah. saying uh, we become acquaintances and yeah. friends since yeah. that time. And you spend. Uh, I want to talk briefly about what you guys did when you were doing stuff. I know you're still doing stuff, probably. But what what your what was your vocation? A, um, I'm a psychologist. I was always intrigued by that because I thought, oh my God, every time you're talking to a psychologist, you think that you're uh, being uh, different levels they're checking you out on. Hey, Jack, did you no, ever no, get that no. feeling from him? No, he's no. no threat to me. You know, he's trying to dissect me and he doesn't realize I'm dissecting him. Are you like so an onion? He's, he's like, well, I'm like an onion, but also... With a lot of layers or a parfait. Well, there's no layers to him, you know. He's, you just open him up and he's right there. But uh, he called... Joe, 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 you are right pretty much out in the open when uh, well, talking to you. Well, the thing is, you know, unless I'm getting paid for it, uh -huh. I'm not analyzing anybody. <laughs> Even for your own benefit, like to say, well, is this person a good person or a bad person? You're using just your gut because you don't want to really interact with people that are uh, take away from enjoyment of life, right? Like what, what <laughs> anybody would see is a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Now, am I going to analyze them? No, no, no. no I can't. I can say that you're ready to point out that there unless, are. How, what are they capable of? Unless capable the meter, of? Unless the meter's running, man. Uh huh. I um, I'm not doing that. Okay, and Jack. What, you're back to work. You've mentioned that before. I do remember things. Yes, you do. Okay. And you said, uh, Joel mentioned you extract. So no. I, there's so many things. You could be a researcher. You could be, uh, you could be in a miner. You could have been a miner, like run a, a big owner of a mining company. You could have been a dental surgeon. You could have been a person in the military used to extracting assets out of foreign See, what? that's the thing about Joel. He'll make a statement, but he leaves out the key part of the statement. Okay. He extracts. Now, what the heck does that mean? Yes. Like you say, you're over here, you're having a dialogue with yourself. Actually, it's called a monologue, mm -hmm. trying to tell me what, or ask me what extraction means. Yeah, so, draw, draw this out so, as long as you can. Uh, yeah, okay. So, so, you know, keep what? him hanging. Keep or you can just no, answer no, no, the no, question, what did you do? No, <laughs> I, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Because when I talk to him... His attention span is very limited, but if you keep moving and moving, you can keep it, keep it going, and then eventually you get to the point, and then he has one of these aha moments. So to answer your question, because you're sharper, I can tell that all the way. Your synapses are working. 
I was a dentist. I was in the Air Force. Uh, I graduated uh, from dental school in the 70s, and I served a couple of years in the Air Force, and then I had my private practice in South Dakota. And then I retired, and we moved back east to Vermont. My wife is seventh generation Vermonter. After seven years, I got kind of bored. I wanted more balance in my life, so I went back to dentistry part-time to work in a public clinic to work on a lot of Medicaid patients and patients that are below the poverty line, that yeah. type of thing. So I do a lot of extractions. I do a lot of dentures. I do a lot of fillings. I do everything. Uh, but I went back part-time on my terms without running a big practice so I could do what I always enjoyed doing. I was fortunate that I've always loved my profession. If you like dentistry, it's a great profession. If you don't like it, it's holy hell. Well, so I, I realize it's. I, I realize the. Um, uh, over the years, we've. I thought about how it would be. F- you you provide such a crucial service, and and dentistry does, but the way people are behave when they. It's got to be way on your mind, like the way people behave having to go to a dentist. But a lot of times, it's for alleviating serious problems that they're going through. You're taking the thorn out of their paw, but the thing about a patient relationship with a dentist is you have to establish trust with that patient. And once you establish trust with them, you know, they'll, they'll follow your guidelines and they'll relax and it's okay. So, Jack, do you use that in your personal life, that we try and put people at ease and communicating well with you could ask Joel really. that how much no, at ease no. I put him I wouldn't say that no I I'm a more of a antagonist oh, yeah. with certain yeah. people where, where'd you, I'm go, kidding where'd you grow up where'd you grow up Morgantown West Virginia Morgantown I went I went white water rafting up oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah 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 in the spring <laughs> yeah that was a beautiful that's a beautiful area it's a yeah, beautiful yeah, area. It except for it reminds me of someone not be- believing that there's an electric fence and i was there because i had relatives even though i'm from philadelphia I had el- relatives that had a farm and i was explaining to him one time about the porcelain spools uh-huh. that's insulation yeah and they said why is it insulation i said because that means there's electricity running through it well they that's, that's they didn't a, believe me we do have electricity there yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, oh, Morgantown, yeah. Yeah, Morgantown, it does. Beautiful. Yeah, it's electrified. Yeah. No, but you see, after the old Edison, fence, yeah. old fence. Oh, no, they, the wire, yeah, they had the wire little, for the keeping uh, their livestock in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah little porcelain spool. Right, 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 right. Yeah, people from the city think, well, this is the way these, these country folk <laughs> well, put, uh, put fencing up. I said, nope, that's the reason why it looks like that. <laughs> and they've made a mistake of not Well, they're going to try to do that on the border, you know, but that's okay. It's another subject. You know, Jack, uh, Jack was telling me that <laughs> he was thinking of going back there well, then do and, what and just and just and and using like one of those really low speed drills yeah and you know like foot power you know like the, the foot treadle one of them the foot treadle yeah like the, what, the one from the deadwood yeah yeah right right you, know. you give them a little give wait and you're yeah. talking about what you're going to do there yeah well that's interesting you missing deadwood because my practice was 20 miles south of there in uh, Rapid City. So oh, we used to go to Deadwood a lot in the Sturgis Motorcycle <laughs> Rally. I mean, that's a great area of the country. Great okay. people, great everything up there. You were very forthcoming about it. Now, Joel, I virtually know, I, I, I kind of know where you grew up. Where? I knew it was someplace between New York and Baltimore, probably. Yeah. Well, I, I, From your accent. Mm, yeah, I still have an accent. A lot of people don't think I have a New York accent anymore. Well, there's different types of New York accent. Brooklyn. There's, Brooklyn. Maybe. Okay, someone that spent a little time in Manhattan. Yeah. I mean, I've been outside. <laughs> I, <laughs> you like that? I'm pretty good with uh, yeah, that accent. Like, yeah, yeah, mid, yeah. Uh, yeah, mid-country. Yeah. Uh, uh, Key Largo uh, for, and its residents seem to have a more mid-Atlantic yeah, that's the that's whole I ninety five corridor. Yeah, Mid Atlantic yeah. one. Well, you get the central part of the state, you're back yeah, in yeah. Alabama. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, stuff like that. And you're looking over your shoulder and uh, all this shit. Baltimore that. accent, and I ended up in Baltimore. Yeah, did you or John Hopkins? Were you associated with John Hopkins? Yeah, as a patient, uh, right in the psych ward. Yeah. And what type did you have a uh, a private practice or did you work in uh, in a group or both or did you, were you assigned to a hospital? Yes. <laughs> Are you, are you not answering a question because you don't want to be identified? No, 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 it's, all of that is true. Okay. Did you? Okay. I have a friend of mine, Dr. P, uh, we'll call him because he's, he didn't choose to be on here, but he uh, worked for the New York State, um, I guess, penal system. Yeah. And he was, uh, yeah. he's very interesting, too. Uh, but I, I actually, uh, well, I started my clinical career in the uh, penitentiary yeah? in Baltimore. 
That's okay. what we call it on Amtrak, Baltimore. That's yeah. it. That's right. Yeah. Oh, you wrote it down? You wrote on the Metro Liner? Yeah. Was yeah. that around when you started? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not and saying uh, – I didn't mean it. The Metro Liner was around I, I, at no, least – No, they had I horse 75, drawn 75, when he right? was there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't ride the Metro Liner much anymore because yeah. it's too expensive. Yeah. You just catch a train between Baltimore and New York. Oh, you're right. You get the Paco line, and, and Paco got, line from New York you, down you to Fi- uh, Philly, then SEPTA, and then. Uh, no, no, you just it's just one one ride. It makes all those stops. But oh, you mean Amtrak? Like only Amtrak. Yeah, it's two and a half hours. Yeah. So it's you know. Yeah, Metro Liners never. It's always delayed an hour, so you never get a really good deal out of that. But you're in Spain. You live in Spain now. For how many months out of the year? Well, we're residents, so... You're residents? Yeah. So, you, we're back and forth, but um, we're residents because you can only have a three-month visa if you don't apply for something uh, longer. And if you, you get a residence visa, then you can be there year-round if you choose. Okay. So, that, so you're a resident of Spain? Are you... Yeah. Do you have any other... Do they give you any additional rights, or are you just a resident, or do you get any... Well, they give you the right to uh, be hassled every two years or so to oh. renew your residency. Oh, okay. You have to go to the U.S. Embassy? No, and... no. This is all Spanish. Okay. You have to go to the Spanish authorities. You have to show them you have enough money so that you're not going to be a deadbeat. Okay. All right. And you have to show them everything? Everything. Kind of like the story we had the other day with the Armado Gar a, about a mile and a half south of here. Did you hear about Monday night? The guy got arrested? <laughs> that one, yeah. Yeah. Did you know, no, Jack? No, no I didn't. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's like that. It's like step into the booth, take your clothes yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Be back in a minute. Okay. Armado Gar, this guy walking down, he got arrested for a public indecency. He was masturbating and walking to the lover's boutique at the same time at 1130 <laughs> at night. Jesus, God. Got picked up for that. And we thought that was perfect for that. And every so after a show like that, I said, you know what? I need to get glass it up. I have to talk to Joel and his friend Jack in order to have well, some was perspective. Was Joel wearing a disguise you at the time? About this, like, so we're just yeah. laying some, I think I'm laying some groundwork right here yeah. so we well, can do more and more. He so was wearing good. a disguise. I know so, that. No, <laughs> this guy was 20 years old. Very disguised. Oh. <laughs> in that case. But all right. Uh, <laughs> at least I wasn't extracted. All right. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> no, but you took, what did the guy say when they picked him up? He was impatient. <laughs> he said he was impatient, Jack. <laughs> that he couldn't wait. That's one word for and it. He, yeah, and, yeah. and he had just finished. Yeah. He, I mean, he has a, he, he's loaded down with some weed <laughs> and a grinder. A grinder is for, uh, a grinder is for uh, grinding up your marijuana so you can okay. uh, yeah. Yeah, get that the seeds. That, like, that was like my three-year-old daughter when... Uh, we gave her a bag. We gave her a bag of chocolate, yeah. and, and we said, "But you can't have this, but you can hold it until we get home." Okay. You know, and so we get home, and I go to get her out of the back seat, and it was like a chocolate war. How she got it on the ceiling, and everywhere else, I have no Joel, idea. Joel, I was certainly not and expecting you to make a segue from a guy who's walking, masturbating down the street. I, that's the way his mind that's works. That's, that's the way it works. Right. But it's good. You took us away from the point. That's so, good. So, so I'm like, Megan, uh, what happened? Yeah. And she was as truthful as she could be, like your guy. I couldn't wait. It's not my guy. He's as much my guy as he's your guy or Jack's guy. He just happens to reside uh, uh, near us. Do I need to repeat the punchline again? Yes. I I am, I'm, I'm, I'm impatient. I, I was impatient. I, yeah. says, I says, couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Yeah. And, and the thing is, that was perfectly true. What a fool I was. So I was you, expecting a three-year-old to be able to wait. So you, what was just, it was a fact. She stated a fact. Okay. You, you can't say anything to that. She was honest, and you got to appreciate that she couldn't I get, wait. I guess yeah. there's a lot my, of guys that can dad, say that that have un- that unexpected pregnancies or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I couldn't wait. Right? I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. And then all of a sudden, nine months later. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or I should have waited. I should have waited. Yeah. What was she saying to you? Like, that was only 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I, yeah, I expected that to be a little longer. Yeah. And I was impatient. Yeah. Uh, Joel, yeah, I want to get back, and I want your input on this. When we first yeah. started talking about this, you suggest, I don't know how well this would have went over in your pool area with people sitting around, and we have to talk about a guy who's walking down the street in that street, <laughs> even though it occurred less than a mile and a half. You're putting too much emphasis on this. Yes. You know, um, we have other things we could talk about. No, perhaps. no, but the one Not thing. Really. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> the whole discussion is going to be. No, but the other thing it was, it was yes. about being in the pool area, was when we first said we were going to go and do this, he said we should do it in the pool. And I still oh, yes, that's, 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 you, yeah, that's brilliant. Your tenuous, um, brilliant. Uh, yeah, that idea of, uh, of um, because you're of, of a scientific mindset, right? And I imagine they, they did have basic physics when you were going to school. Shocking. Shocking, wasn't it? That to bring all this equipment into the pool and the weather putting just my, our lives in danger, you'd be putting everyone else's life in danger. He does not care. Yeah, Haven't yeah. you figured you, that out? Are you psychotic? Another, how many, <laughs> how many, ask yeah, him how many, he used to be a musician. Ask him how many gigs he did in the pool. Oh, wait. Ask him. But he, a guitar player. Yeah. No, he's okay. still a musician. Well, I said, oh, you Crosby still is. The fact that you actually got paid for it sometimes. Yeah. Jack, what was yeah. your forte? Yeah, I still get paid What's his for uh, music sometimes. genre? I don't have a forte in music. No, does Joel have a like a? He's brilliant, really. Okay, what yeah. what type of music would you consider like American folk or no, no, uh, I do, rock? I do avant garde, avant garde, experimental. Oh, that's incredible! Tell him about your brain thing. My brain thing. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Want to hear about my brain thing? It's, it correlates with music. Let him explain it. A synopsis. Do you, want, do you want me to be a little more articulate? Is this what it's called? It's called a brain thing? Well, I, I want to hear it my brain thingy. Okay, brain thingy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, I would, um... Well, so, I, so I, I worked in the penitentiary. Okay. For a number of years in Baltimore. And, uh... And then, and we had one of the first biofeedback systems uh, ever, <clears throat> like handmade. The thing was, if you know about biofeedback, if you just for people to know, for listeners, biofeedback. They, I imagine there's a bunch of sensors on the people's head <laughs> and their hands, and Got they're it. getting yeah. certain yeah. type of tele- telemetry <laughs> from information about the heartbeat, respiration, and all those you're things. Getting, you're get, yeah, you're getting these signals, yeah. Yeah. and then you put them into an analyzer, and when somebody is moving the signal in the right direction, let's say you're trying to relax them, mm-hmm. and if they're calming down their uh, their um, Hmm. The muscle tone, uh-huh. and you're recording that off these sensors, then the machine is going to give them a signal back, mm-hmm. preferably in their mother's voice saying, good boy. Is that what you... No. Okay. Oh, uh, you made that the up. Last part I made okay, up. that's a nice scientific He's answer. setting it up, that's yeah. A, okay, no, but there is a signal that goes... Would you up. call that mollification? Is that mollifying? Mollifying? Yeah. When you're calming someone down? I wouldn't. I don't know... Mollify? <laughs> yeah. I'm blocking. What is that? You know, no, the mollify is to relax, to calm down. Ah. You can't mollify. say commification. You could, That's maybe. Right. You could, no, but it wouldn't okay, be correct. So it, yeah. yeah, it's mollifying. Yeah, okay. There you I'm go. Really, I actually, believe okay. it or not, I'm very well read. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know that. I know that. <laughs> I know, I know. So, okay, so what, this, I guess you were doing well, we the studies in, in, in the penitentiary. We just say yeah? relaxing. Okay. All right. So, but the thing is that it's a, usually a, just a tone or a click or a beep, a signal like that, an audio signal of some kind. Mm-hmm. But it, it, has, it has nothing to it. And so I went ahead and I, I went over the Peabody Conservatory of Music. I heard of the Peabody. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's part of Hopkins, yep. of Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And I went up to the Electronic mu- Music Studio and I knocked on the door, and a guy answered the door. And, I, and the first thing I said to him was, um, have you ever thought about feeding brain waves into your synthesizers? And he said, you know, I've got an important deadline coming up for a piece I'm composing. Come right in. Okay. So that was the beginning of, like, a 10-year project. So did, 
to clarify this, so it's feeding back brain waves into the synthesizer, so you can synthesize a mood or a well, idea or you, just an active mind. You, you synthesize music. It's a music synthesizer. Yeah, but it's an impression. It's an interpretation of someone's mind state, right? Yeah, it, it, mindset. It, well, it's actually the <clears throat> it's the brain waves controlling the synthesizer mm -hmm. because. It's been programmed. Okay. For that, by me and my music partner. And what were the results? Did you try it? What was that? What happened? Well, it's very. The thing is, regular biofeedback depends on learning, mm -hmm. so it takes a while. But we were able to set up like a, a resonance, if you will, between the brain and the synthesizer, and we actually drove people into relaxation. I don't know if that's quite the right. Drove them using. Why don't you say led them? Feedback. Led them. Using that. feedback from But the separate from the music, right? No. The, the, well, the synthesizer was analyzing brain waves, so you were using their own brave, brain waves to calm them down? This is all in real time. Okay. Yeah. And, and so. Brain waves to synthesizer. And they're driving. Back to the, brain. Yeah. And they're driving. The, they're the driving force between the, the ideas of them, people calming down. Or being more relaxed. Yeah, well, we could we could send them into different states of consciousness. Yes, you want to put that? Well, I said depending on that, Jack. On <laughs> how we, depending on how we yeah. we uh, set it up. Is, 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 it, uh, is it being utilized by any? Uh... Yeah, a lot's gone on since then. I was into it for ten years, and then we got a patent and that sort of thing. Then I was asked to be a CEO. Mm-hmm. We were going to sell the thing, and I didn't want to be a CEO, so I ducked out. Do you want okay. to mention the government or not? Probably not. Nah. Okay. What year did this take place? So this was... A year. Give me a space. Like the 80s. Okay. Do you say the U.S. government probably used that to like intimidate Noriega when he was holed up in the Vatican Embassy? No comment, right? <laughs> and did they pick out the music to make them more disquieted? I, to I, go and choose the right kind of music to do that? To use sounds to invoke a no, state I of... Used, I think you use something like Fugazi at full volume. You don't, <laughs> you don't no Fugazi, I... You, you don't even need no brain. <laughs> you know. Oh, you just to interact with your just, limbic just, system? Just... Um, or does vegetation actually uh, react to Fugazi? No, no, just pump Fugazi full blast at them. Mm -hmm. That'll bring them to their knees. It sounds like you like Fugazi, though. Well, I've heard about it. Okay, I don't know much I've, about them, it. I mean, I've heard okay, about Jack. It. I've heard them. They're, 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 they're pretty hot so, when they were. I get, I've never got the opportunity to speak to you about things like this. This is very yeah. interesting. Jack, you and uh, Joel must have sat up many a night just sitting around. I bet by the pool until they kick you out and say, you Well, go we have, it's interesting. You know, you've never seen him in the pool, but this is what it is. <laughs> He's got a noodle. You know oh, wait, I'm that's saying? personal. That no, is personal, sorry, Jack. I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to. Listen, okay, I'll, you, you, you want to say go. that in front of your wife. I know it's shocking. I said, uh, we, were, I said we were going to keep. Uh, <laughs> No, Cycling you made a pool. No, he well, he a pool. he brought up the pool. Pool noodle. Well, this is pool. Okay, here's the pool deal. Pool noodle, floating, okay. yeah. floating noodle. Okay, we have we yeah. have a uh, sort of a um, a mayor of the pool. Her name is Mary, and she's great. She's from Scotland. I call her Mary Queen of Scots. But she's in charge of the noodles. And a noodle is something you put under your arms, and you can uh, float in the pool, and you can bob up and down like an apple in a barrel. Mm. And uh, a lot of people older than us will sit there and do that all day. But Joel. He wanted a pink noodle, okay? She wouldn't give him a pink noodle. And then he so wanted... So Mary wouldn't give up a pink noodle to... Not a pink a, noodle to him. No, it no, It sounds no, like... No. Uh, she, only she, to my oh, wife. Oh, wow. That sounds no, kind no. of really pink personal. Pink only for my wife. Okay, yeah, pink noodle. I think pur purple oh, Your pink me. noodle. Purple. So purple. they wouldn't even give him blue, so he's got sort of an off-color purple-blue combination okay. thing. But a rainbow the, noodle. Yeah, well, not really. It's only it's, mon it's, it's monochromic. It's only one color. Yeah, that's a noodle that's attracted to almost anything. But I'm glad you haven't seen him in the pool because it's a, in some ways it's it's, an, it's illuminating, but it's also a little bit tragic and sad. Is it disquieting? It is to me. <laughs> to get, and to I'll, get into, go home I'll get into and that. And this is what night. happens. Okay, <laughs> so I'm down at the pool and I see this guy in four feet of water with a noodle around him. He's not even floating. He doesn't even know how to use the damn noodle. Okay, he's got a noodle under his arms. All right. Yeah. And 
and he's standing in the water. He's not floating with the noodle supporting him, and he's flapping his arms like this, like, <laughs> like some kind of a duck trying to get off the pond. He's overweight type of thing. And he, what he's done is he's really permanently imprinted that noodle. It's got indentations where his armpits fit, and nobody's armpits fit there, so nobody wants that noodle. That's his noodle. So no one so, wants your noodle? No, no, nobody wants his noodle. <laughs> I told I'm sure Gabby would share. You okay. set the theme, Jim, yeah. and we just keep cycling. You guys back. go right okay. into it. Is- so here's the deal. All right. Let's hear it, Jack. Have you ever been to an animal shelter? Animal shelter. Yes, yes, yes. And what do you see when you look in the cages and you see, or, discarded animals? What do you and- see when you look in their eyes? Discarded eyes. Want a companionship? One of companionship? Begging almost. And yeah, and they're kind of lost, and they yeah. feel nobody loves them. And what would you want to do to that animal? Pick him up, take him home. Bingo. You pick Here he is in the pool, okay? <laughs> here he is in the pool. Him off. You, got, you got 20 people in the pool all out here, and, and you got one guy over in, he's not even in the middle of the pool anymore. He's over in the corner, and he's got that look in his eye, okay? Like, what the so, hell? This guy is grabbing at me. No, 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 no. Okay. Was he grabbing at your noodle? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're grabbing at the noodle. I have the floor. He's like, it looks no, like no, 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 no. no. I'm trying to achieve orbital velocity. <laughs> oh, anyway, man. you cannot. I you, can't surprise that people wouldn't be drawn to that. Well, this <laughs> is just funny because they say, oh, it is a very interesting yeah. man in there. And there used to be, you know, oh, so I was here right. 10, years, 10 years ago, and there used to be a woman that just would float in the middle of the pool, and she did not need a noodle. Yeah. She would just sit. We have uh, those. We have she those. She just yeah. sit, and it went One right up to here. Yeah. And the rest were yeah. right. It wasn't like up to the neck. Yeah, no. yeah. You could tell by if there's. Uh, I know enough about the content about your BMI. You. If your BMI's high, yeah, that you're you're flying higher in the water. Right. Yeah. So anyway, this is and the displacement. Okay. Not to mention the displacement. Well, we're getting what was that? Euclid now. of the water. What was that? Who was it, Jack? I was in. A, I was, was it Euclid? Or well, who did displacement? <laughs> that was that I was, don't know. I'm not quite thinking. I think that was Euclid. I, I think it was Euclid that, about yeah. the, the bathtub. That's yeah. right. But why are we getting into the physics of this? This is a human tragedy. I'm talking <laughs> about. Well, this Greek is a human tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, what a Greek tragedy. Well, you got me on that. There we go. Like See, this. Jack, so here I, I am. Sharp. Here. Joel said you were sharp, and I here, thought no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Joel, uh, he's, he's a terrible judge of character. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's here's the thing. Good one. So so anyway, the there's 20 people in the pool over here, and there's one guy over there, yeah. and they're moving away from. Him. Well, I didn't want to say that, but you're pretty sharp, <laughs> so you got that too. So he's by himself. So I'm in the healthcare profession. Okay, I have yep. empathy. Yeah. I see this guy, and I go over, and I just start talking to him. You know. Well, it didn't quite happen there. Well, that's Jack. the way I'm presenting <laughs> the story because I don't want to be so. Yes. I don't want to bore people picture, here. Just picture Jack charging. No, From no. the far end of the pool, screaming, extraction, extraction. <laughs> pulling you out of the pool. Okay. I didn't perceive, I'm like, I'm like, I didn't know you was a threat then. I didn't perceive that. I'm I wouldn't have extracted you. Velocity. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and he's just grabbing at me. No, I don't grab yeah, at you. I I was going under. Okay. So uh-huh. It was a false rescue. What was that? Okay, you, you keep on saying, once again, uh, I know it's weird. This is why I had, there was a tenuous grasp on technology coming here when you talked about biofeedback. But today, uh, yesterday, you said I should bring my AC cable with me um, versus a DC cable. And I'm thinking for, for a moment, I was thinking. More I was thinking it's no, 120 it, it, and 115. I know. I, under, I understand yeah, that. There's but, a reason for that. No, but there's, <laughs> there's, I don't know. It. Not, I, wouldn't have, t- I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't have it, would I? And I'm thinking, <laughs> are you Tesla? Are you, are you, did you build, finally build a time machine? And is this, are you, are you here to spread the word about your transmissionless wire, wireless system to transmit power? Is yeah. that what you're doing? That yeah. I'm able to do a podcast with my electronics. Yeah. And that's why I thought, I was thinking later on in the night after you spoke to me that you might be a genius. You might be, Oh, like whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Jack. Yeah. That's a dangerous word to use with straight. him. Set me straight. Him out, Jack. Because I, I say, Doc Brown, get back in that time oh. machine. Go back to it. Genius. <laughs> Genius. I don't know. Yeah. 
Was Andy Kaufman a genius that considered him a comic, but I, he never said a joke or anything. He just stood there and did these dumb things. Everybody said he was a comic. And he would walk out and boo. Is that the kind of genius of comedy that he is with his uh, repertoire here? I think it is. That's I, think, I think I, so, too. I find me a humorous. Yeah, I find I, it humorous. Yeah. Oh, you did? I did. Okay, that brings up another thing. And then I'm going to question I'm gonna, mine. I'm gonna, okay, you, okay. It's a big world out there, Jack. Okay, I want to tell you something, okay? Okay, what would you say you do for a living? What would you just well, well, give me a word or two that describes what you do to pay your mortgage? Well, you don't know everything I do. Or no, do no, you? but okay, what do you do in you that establishment where you met does. him? What do you do in that establishment where he walked in? I bartend. You but bartend? No, 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 no. I'm a purveyor of uh, libations. I'm a host. Okay, I I'm a to. person. I'm an impromptu counselor. I'm an ally to some people. Okay, you're going further, and I want to go with this. We'll get okay. into that. Yeah. So, do you sheep herd? Who? Sometimes. Or do you herd sheep? I do both. See, see, you're, you're, you tend bar. Yes. You don't bartend. See, you're, you don't fit my mental image. I used to tend bar, okay, mm -hmm. in college and stuff on weekends mm -hmm. and evenings to help yes. work my way through school and all that kind of stuff. But I tended bar, okay? I didn't mm -hmm. bartend. So mm -hmm. once I, somebody says they bartend, I kind of put them on a lower level. Lower level? That I mean, maybe suitable. that's me. That's me. That could be me. Maybe that's the era I grew up in. But no, I was trying to visualize who you would be because he said that you were a bartender at this certain establishment that you work in. And I'm wondering to myself, I said, well, usually a bartender doesn't say when he's in high school, I want to grow up and be a bartender. They don't do that. They usually do a lot of other things, and they do tending bar on the side, and then maybe they'll um, do it for a career for a while, then they drift back mm -hmm. into contracting or something else. So here's my question. When you tend bar, you have people come in and sit on your stool, mm -hmm. and they talk to you, and they order a drink. I don't let... let any, just anybody touch my stool. That, okay, this is, what, this is what I'm coming to. Well, I've heard you what say, do you just, do? just take any loose stool. Yes. What do you do when a deplorable comes in and sits on your stool? What do you do? How do you, how many, don't, you have a, don't you have an obligation, a contractual obligation, to actually accept money from him, and he takes your drink, and doesn't that make you a prostitute? Uh, well, if the, the same thing with Kate, what if you're taking care of a drug mule? To um, you know, to to take care of their teeth, so they can go. So and he's a, so he's an addict. So I mean, wait, but what what if what if someone I don't charge what him? Just, what if I don't charge him? No, but you wouldn't. How would you know? Well, you how can many tell people? Are, how many? Do you, do you, do you, tell do you an think? Addict. Do you think John Wayne Gacy actually? He may have had a bunch. He was of a great really clown. Well done. Don't bad mouth John Wayne Gacy. He was a great a clown. He, he was. He may have had really well placed. John Wayne Gacy may have had well placed cavities. And great dental work. I and there was you. probably a great dentist behind him. But that does not make the dentist complicit. No, it doesn't. It does not so, make him complicit. But, but if you I'll tell you, but but if you, bartending is, is my... Tending bar. Is, uh, bartending is my, venue, <laughs> is my venue for getting great ideas so I can do this and so I can write and I can come up with scenarios for things like so, that. And I hear great stories. And I bet, I'm sure you hear great stories. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and they're told, uh, sometimes they're told they're under duress. They're intimate. Yes. Intimate, yeah. I mean, especially if they're under gas or something like that. Oh, my God, the Nazis well, do Well, you right? know, you're in somebody's orifice there. And it's, oh, and it's, oh, I mean, it's a lot yeah, of people yeah, do that. So that is intimate. And you're not even like, that, you know, I'm not, not even, even like a dentist. psychologist. That's yeah. right. Here we go, cycling. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So there you go. So I'm just saying, how do, even if you know he's a deplorable or you suspect it, how do you... How I don't do you, find him deplorable. Huh? I don't find him. I, don't find I didn't him. say he was. I said some people may perceive that. I was just asking your perception. And maybe if it's not him, maybe it's another deplorable. If they're deplorable, if they're deplorable, if someone says something really mean and hurtful, I kick their ass out. Yeah, no, you would you kick him out or you ask him to politely leave and say, don't come back? Well, it, you have There's to a use, way you do you have to You have to use the amount of force that works appropriately for that type of person. If you are too timid when you approach someone that's who's being aggressive, it's weakness. Yeah. If you're too aggressive to someone that's timid, it could trigger someone. So I sometimes I lead with the timid and say, don't mistake my kindness for Weakness. weakness, and uh, you won't you won't need, have to see the other side. And I give them the opportunity, and then if they ratchet it up after that, and I realize it is, okay. and I don't do it, and I make sure you don't offend them in front of other people. Okay. But once they give up that opportunity to um, 
acquiesce. Yes. You give them an out. You save their dignity. Give them, save their dignity. And go and do it. You live don't another day. the situation. Okay, here's another question. As a dentist, you've got to kind of be a psychologist, too, because you've got to read people. Yep. And you've got to know how to treat them a certain way. Types don't set them off on stuff. Yep. And as a bartender or somebody that tends bar, you do the same thing. So how would you rate your psychological skills versus this gentleman over here that actually got paid for it? I haven't seen. I haven't. I haven't. He doesn't reveal it. Well, actually, with that biofeedback story. Well, that's new information. I'm talking about the bar. I think that is brilliant. And the way he Uh finagles. You see see him pick that up? He's. he's I thought that was brilliant. He's insatiable. He's a need bucket. He's, he's no, no, no. But when me, you said oh, no. he was in more of avant-garde music and all that stuff, well, that's just and then he went and did that, I said, "Well, that is. I think that is uh, appropriate." Well, that's where I picked up the avant-garde music. Yep. When okay. I dropped into the <laughs> okay. conservatory. So if I'm ever tortured by a future repressive government, and I start feeling you know, future, music, future or present, thank you, present yeah, government, yeah, yeah, yeah. a present government, they catch me <laughs> if when they catch me when I'm trying to go to Poland this year, and then I get taken to you a, won't get back in. I, I t- get you taken to a black in. site in uh, the Ukraine yeah. or you're Romania, going to be in Guantanamo, and then I'm going to hear some. I'll just say. Fucking Joel Nespol. <laughs> That's right. It's his fault. He pioneered this stuff. I'm just going to say you that. No you good, damn you. Yeah. Yeah. But then they go, I know that. And if they said, I would say, I know the guy that invented this. But you know, he accepts. That'll help you. That'll before, but that'll, you you, because you have to focus on something. Otherwise, it'll drive you. I was in the Navy. I was in Navy Intel. I have some so, training. That's, oh, I that's, have some that, training. Uh, that's not, doesn't it? <laughs> I have some Navy training. Intel does not exist. They use, they come use, uh, you ever hear the, uh, what would the, um, uh, <laughs> Jesuit school, uh, they use certain <laughs> Jesuit philosophy for handling um, interrogation. They do? Yeah. Yeah. The Jesuits, because they, you know why. What's that like? What were Jesuits, Jesuits, Jesuits famous for in the Middle Ages, prior to Middle Ages? Burning people to stake. Well, prior, why did, what did they do prior to that? I, I think the Inquisition. Oh, well, yeah, okay. The Inquisition. Yeah. And they were, uh, the question, so the Jesuit school is resisting uh, when we talk about the Jesuit school, not the interrogation part, was resisting interrogation. How to answer a question truthfully when you don't want to answer questions. Refra- it's called, and you, I'm sure you, in psychology, you, it's called the reframing of the question. Yeah. And you yeah. do that on your part, and you do not signal to the person that's asking you the question that you reframe that question. So when my wife says, oh, not wife, let's go with girlfriend. Yeah. 20 years ago, I'm, I went out to... A gentleman's club. And I ended up coming home and I had some no longer glitter, glitter and lipstick yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It wasn't your shade either. It wasn't was it? it. And, yeah. and it go like this. Where were you? Yeah. I had previously <laughs> gone into a, uh, a drugstore. Yeah. And I said, you know, they were, were trying out lipstick. <laughs> no, no, no. I fell. I fell on a slippery area. Yeah, in cosmetics. Yeah, come on. And I did that. I did fall. I did well, fall on that area. That, and I hit the, the I hit the aisle. No, not, no, not, well, yeah. it was in the cosmetics area. Um, <laughs> but I said it was That's unforeseen. It was an unforeseen accident. I didn't know. And then I was out, and then went drinking. I didn't make a bigger deal. But I didn't tell her that I went and got a lap dance and, and paid for it. <laughs> myself. But that was an accident, too, because I didn't intend for that to happen. For I did not intend to impart $40 so you on t- a young Arge- so you, Argentinian yeah, woman. Yeah, you kicked her off your lap, right? No, not really. But that, <laughs> that was, she, did not, she did not go all the way there. How did that get on you? And I, uh, I did not uh, see she, when it got on me. I would have surmised if I brought all that information into the conversation that it came from her. But it could have came from the fall in the drugstore. Uh, she didn't buy any of that. She did. How long was she your girlfriend after that? Two two days. <laughs> <laughs> two days. She bought it all right. No, well, see, I was going by the wayside anyway. Well, so. okay. Well, I was not a very very going good back, boyfriend going at that back time. For a moment to Jesuit interrogation, <laughs> I would have thought that would be like on your knees. <laughs> you were we praying. Oh, oh! You're talking about the Catholic Church stuff, and uh, uh, I was I was raised Roman Catholic. I I, oh, I heard all that stuff. We handle that all. No, no, I'm not. Hey, I'm not in Saul. I no, um, no. I think I think I think they use all different types of things: as chocolate, wine, um, things of blessing, indulgences. And don't should change the subject, I think, guys. I think what what changed the church when Ma- Martin Luther did? No way. Okay. All, all those things you just described. Yeah. That's like foreplay. I went to Catholic school. That's like foreplay, and then it's on mm-hmm. your knees. 
I wasn't. Hey, luckily, hey, Joe, I, luckily, too Joel, too much I wasn't tainted by that. Joe. I was never. I was never tainted by that. I, God no, bless. No, no, no. God bless you guys. That got. I mean, I apologize for it. It's horrible. I mean, luckily, we, I wasn't involved in it. Ah. I wasn't. Luckily, because yeah. then there would be like uh, that that um, post traumatic stress uh, repercussions coming. PTSD. In. Yep. Okay. PTSD. So ST. Yeah. Anyway, another subject. But, okay. this, is, this is currently being litigated as we speak. Oh, yeah. And no, they're having, a, five year, they're having a five-day conference at the Vatican right now. Yep. And we shouldn't go into that. I'm, I'm not you, Catholic, but... Jack, Jack, you look like you could be a goddamn bishop. Just put that mirror on your hat. Don't, don't, and don't a big, I deserve to be a bishop? curved thing on there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the hook. Idiot. Speaking of the hook, I saw a guy with... That's a, a shepherd staff. That's a shepherd's hook. Yeah, That's a shepherd staff. Yeah, Bo yeah. Peep style. There you go. I know well, that I'm stuff. Not Catholic either, but they have. Oh no shit! <laughs> <laughs> this shit, Joe. 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 Really? <laughs> really, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm oh, That's I'm a strong so statement. And all I wanted to say was they do have the best. You know, hats. I went. What? The big. They have the best hats. I don't know. Hats. I don't know. Okay, hats. Wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They got Wait a second. So do you have... I go with the... Um, hmm. You have I think the pharaohs had some pretty cool hats because they were very um, suggestive. Those hats. Those, <laughs> so ha- They were very the, aerodynamic. Uh, the, I, I think we've gone backwards with the, the, the scoop in the front because if you were ended up with the power of flight, the pharaohs would have it because they had like a bullet top thing on the yeah, side of the hat. Yeah. You saw the Ten Commandments, but I don't know where we, why we got on the hats. They went out of style, didn't they? I haven't seen one in a long no, time. No, you haven't. It's no, a long no, time. Oh, it's been school. hard times for old ISIS school. and Ra. Yeah, it's um, and Ra. good. No, no. The last time we raised our head with Storney. Probably a little heavy. Yeah, yeah. a little, a little bit. That gold and heavy, is yeah. The, heavy is the head that wears a crown. Well, the English. Whoa. The you English, like that? Yeah, the English, Quick. their hats. I mean, they got crowns and they got the women in the royal Tierra. family that all wear Tierra. hats. Kentucky Derby in the South and Kentucky. Those are really nice. Uh, that's a sore point for me because of the uh, the plumage and the exotic bird. Trend. Well, yeah, it, yeah, a yeah. lot of birds went. Maybe uh, they donated. Uh, went uh, donated them. They donate them. They yeah. just donated like tiger penises did for Japanese for tiger penis soup. We keep getting off this stuff. I know it just uh, comes up. That's really disgusting. I know it's good. <laughs> it's Thank disturbing you. too. Thank you. It's it's like think, eating Joe? Rocky well, Mountain I'm, oysters. I'm just counting the number of times we circled back to the main theme. Yeah, he yes. can't get off this. He can't get off this. It's a keys bartender, so I got to leave it spicy. If you're at a bar, so you have a certain got, you have a certain clientele you're trying to meet the demands from. Or else well, I mean, the bar, it's, not a you gotta, it's not a coffee shop, but yeah. I do try to I do I do try to raise the. The discussion sometimes we do uh, every so often we discuss this, war and peace. I read this book a couple of years ago called the Psychopath Test, and that's the you like that, right? I love that. One. <laughs> <laughs> the Psychopath Test. Did you read that? Yeah, um, Psychopath the guy was, uh, was it from the London Times or something like that. I the guy wrote it. what? I wrote it. You wrote it. it. You I lived it. I wrote Are it. Are you kidding me? You lived it. I'm no, kidding. no, not the book. I, no, the, the book. The, but you wrote the Psychopath Test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do my research. They mentioned the guy's name, and I don't remember. Yeah, but it's, he's a pseudonym. He would never sign off on that. Uh, I mean, no, I'm just saying. Like, yeah. I'm a psychologist. It's like a 250 question well, test or something. I'm a psychopath. So. Well, I, no, you're a sociopath. You're not a psychopath. Yeah, there is a subtle There's difference a between a difference. Soci- yeah, psychopath and sociopath. Is. You're a sociopath. In like, in you're a classic sociopath. You don't even know you're a sociopath. It takes somebody that's unbiased to see that I'm in you. I'm an experimental so sociopath, you but you have permanent results from your actions. I'm an avant-garde. Oh, are well, you what's, it, what, what's the true statements? Not all, all are are all sociopaths psychopaths, or are all, all psych- psychopaths no. are sociopaths? All psychopaths are sociopaths, not the That's other really, way around. Yeah. Okay. That's really a confusing topic. We're not going to settle that one today. I think after this one, I'm definitely going to agree that we're not going to settle yeah. it today because I like to do this again. We're not going to yeah. settle anything today. That's not the point. We can settle something. We can pick a point and settle today. No, we can't stay focused. We can pick long. one. Fine. We fine. can't stay focused. We'll do. Well, yeah, well, I'll pick one that we can finish. No, no, it's all a work in progress. There's yeah. Nothing. No, but we can settle no one goals. point. We can settle one point. What if you we don't want to settle? It takes three people to settle it. Yeah. Let's. What do if it. I don't want to settle it? Let's pick something that you want to settle about. I don't want to settle anything because nothing can be settled. You like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Yeah, they're great. 
but I haven't had one in 30 years. I do grew you, up on them. Do you like strawberry? Of course. Okay. But, but so what? So what? I really don't, actually. You don't like strawberry? No. Everybody, everybody oh, great. normal. No, especially just, if you give me a really sweet strawberry, I'm there. You want chocolate no, great strawberry? Preserves. No, nah, he won't eat preserves. Too you much won't eat sugar. preserves? Too much sugar? Uh, no, he won't eat that. No, no, some. Oh, really? Are you worried about the sugar? Is that right, Joel? No, no. Are you worried about the sugar? I was going to go like this. It's not the four Pinot Grigios. He earned every pound of that. <laughs> you he earned sugar? every pound of that. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're uh, towards the end of the uh, show, and we, we just scratch the surface. We always scratch the surface. Yeah, and, and never scratch go other parts. anything. Of. That's the whole point. That's perfect. We, he get, introduced me in a word last week. He said riffing. I said, what's riffing? He said, well, he said it's like, it's a musical term. Okay, and I looked it up. And it's, it's a jazz. It's a okay, jazz. But it said it's, Impro- it's improvisation. It's, riffing is with is. the instrument. Scatting is using your voice. Scatting? Scatting. Oh, scatting. You know yeah, that yeah, scatting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, 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 Yeah. Scatting? Yeah. 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 But you ever use scat to get, uh, alter someone's emotional state? You could yeah, kill whenever, someone scatting. Whenever I was a loss... In the therapy suite. <laughs> you would just start scatting? I, I, yeah, I'd break into that. <laughs> <laughs> like Ella Fitzgerald or what? It's better than Well, you can't be better than her. Yeah. Don't even try. No. I fell, I, I fell asleep twice. <laughs> it figures. In during therapy? therapy? Nothing going on there, I'm Joel. Patient. I'm a patient? Yeah, in 32 years. Well, that's not bad at all. So tell, tell him what the patient said after, after the session was over. Well, okay, I've been, you know, been talking with this guy for years. You've got to wrap yeah. it up. We're getting and to the end here. Yeah, no, that's all right. No, take right. your time. We can go. We're, There's no limited so time. So, we're chatting away. It's late. It's like 6 o'clock. And uh, it's been a long day. And he's a monotone. You know, he's going on and on and on. Next thing I realize, I'm coming to, and I hear myself say. That means that, he's waking up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I hear myself. Oh, not like that guy on the on, on the Never mind. bike path. Wake him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's waking up. Go ahead. All right. Get it. Okay. I get it. Ready for it? Yeah. Okay. And I hear myself say, "They're all like works of art." Okay. Now I'm fully awake, and I'm looking at this guy. And by the way, of all the things that could have slipped out of my subconscious, uh-huh. that was relatively innocent. Okay. Could have been disastrous. So now I'm fully awake. I'm looking at this guy's. His head is cocked a little bit, and he says, what do you mean? And, I, and I, I'm quick on my feet, and I figure one unconscious to another. I go back to the last thing I can remember him saying before I fell asleep, and I just free associate with that. I forget the details. Anyway, we're at the end of the session. I like no, no. There's no set time. I just no, no, no. I said it for no, 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 not your session. His yeah. session. Okay, oh, my yeah. session. Okay, I thought you were saying this no, one. No, I go, no, no, we're not. No, here. no, no. Go. No, no, bye, no. bye, Jim. Uh, <laughs> you fell asleep during your work. I never fell asleep he, at work. He no. was asleep the whole session. Yeah. He's charging this guy with, money yeah. for. That's been our job, right, Jack? Keeping yeah, yeah. Jim awake. Yeah. Go ahead and get out. I'm awake. You get to the big on finish line on this thing. You're boring me, and I know the story. Come on. Get to it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. God. So we get to the end of the session, and he gets up, and he's walking out, and he turns to me, and he says, you know, that's the best session we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him what you did after that. You raised your fees 20%, and you slept through the next week, and you made a fortune. I, I did. I said, I said, there will be a surcharge. <laughs> so much for positive feedback. That was good. That feedback worked then, for you, I guess, yeah. right there. Okay. We done? No, no, no. no, no. no. We end it. No, no. Yeah, no, like this. You, I want to thank you. Ended how, much, be. how much damage he thinks he's done in his life with people's brains versus a. Well, you know what? Uh, what it, well, I'm, I'm sure you both, you act like gentlemen that feel comfortable in the, your accomplishments. Yeah. There's not, I think you've done, probably been, both done he's been tremendous amount of good. We actually, we've both been faking it. I we don't recognize, <laughs> we recognize fakes and we appreciate it. No, you know what? When it comes to, to someone's body of work, I, that's I the one thing. I super, uh, super, what am I, I trying to say? Superficialness in you. Su- you, oh. did, you did false fake extractions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you'll be fine now. 
You mean $150. you told them that you took yeah, the two I, down I, and I, didn't I, take I, a tooth? I numbed them up, and then I, and then I got an yeah. old tooth, and I put some blood on it, and I handed it to them and said, you want your tooth? They said, no, I, didn't, I didn't feel a thing. No, I never did that. Oh, wait a minute. I never did that. Painless dentist. Yeah, painless dentist, right. There. Anyway. There that is amazing. Yeah. I want to so, thank both. What? Well, go ahead and sign off. I'm not. You know, you, I didn't know you were. Like you're doing the dishes, and we're still in the living room. Like, hint, hint, get the heck out of here. The party's over. Isn't that what he's doing? That's a signal. No, I figured that no, we, we had no, such no. a good time that maybe no, we no, can do no. this another time. I don't say, know. Well, we have to. Because there's always secrets we need to keep. Oh, God. This could go on forever. You know, the, well, I could both, go. We're both leaving as of the first. They're kicking us out. Let's be honest. Wait, yeah. today's the 21st. Yeah. So we got another week. Yeah. yeah. You want to do this again? Yeah, I want to do oh this again. Oh, my God. This guy's right. a... Hey, can we stop in for Philly cheesesteaks? Hey, you know, Before I then. found out you have them. Oh, I love Philly cheesesteaks. Chili. We'll have some chili feet. Chili no, no che- chili. Philly cheesesteaks. Philly cheesesteaks. Are you asking me if you can? Yeah. and then you If you pay us. for them, Joel, you'll get them. Okay. Um, I'll say uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no! I do that at that day. Of course, you got. We it's a public little public house. Yeah, I dropped the mic. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course, but I can't record. I can't. I got to do my job yeah, when yeah, I'm in there. Yeah, I'm yeah, focused yeah. on my job. It's yeah, like yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I can't be recording this. We'll have to do this. I like the way we did it this time. Right. And I think. Listen, Come on I don't back. mind doing now. I I will tell you that now you know what we talk about. You will now. I know you can think about. Oh, you're setting us up. Yeah. Oh. No, the, because you got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Well, we can just bring up anything. We can talk about anything. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. 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 That's, that's well, exactly. Do. That's exactly. I don't. I'm glad I, you explained it to me. You lost yeah. me there. No, no. no, no I would never. What, I would what, never go and say, no, we don't want to hear about that's that. That's what we do best. Yep. Talk about. Nothing. Nothing and everything. Yeah. Simultaneous. Some of the best conversations are done that way. Yeah. Huh? Without it, without a, a purpose in the beginning. The only reason I took notes here is um, just to get an idea of someone they put in the description what, what went about? on. Oh. Yeah, right here. Well, we'll leave it up to you to put your own notes. Well, what about that? No, no, I won't put a description. I don't put a description. Well, it's funny. In a, you just, and it's you know what the big thing for me right now is I'm looking for more additional um, – Reviews on iTunes, Spotify, and our heart, iHeartRadio. Okay. Uh, but uh, you will see, uh, this is uh, episode 151, and uh, the folks, it, most likely there may be only like a couple people because this is an unannounced one, but now it exists in perpetuity on the site. Okay, mm. cool. okay? until yeah. whatever, I get arrested. Hey, did, hey, 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 lady, did you pay? Are you going to leave money in the cup up there? Not a damn thing. Oh. <laughs> Save your money. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's well put, Jack. Well. I like it. Okay. I'd like to thank both Cheers. Jack and Joel. Yeah. Yeah, Jack and Joel. And so yeah, very that should be some kind of a... Went up the hill, Jack and... Down. Yeah. Okay, we're going to... I'm putting the music on right now. Okay. Oh, God. Lord help oh, everybody. Good one. Are we off the air? Oh, we're on the air. We're still talking. All right. We're not saying anything, though. We're just talking. We're just talking. Uh, we're just going to stop. <laughs> this is Julie. Hey, Calendar. What's my morning like? Julie's about to have a long day. At 9 a.m., soccer carpool. 9.10, purchase birthday card. 9.05, dry cleaning. Did you just go backwards? I'm sorry. I can't fit that question into your schedule. <sighs> 9.15, cry for a little bit. For days that won't end, let Schwann's help. With Schwann's, you can get delicious meals that go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. Visit today at schwanns.com. After a long day of being pulled in every direction, the last thing anyone wants to think about is what's for dinner. That's where Schwann's can help with a variety of real food choices, frozen to lock in freshness, from ready-made meals, premium meats and side dishes, to vegetables, ice cream, and more. Schwann's foods go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours, so you can pull off a delicious meal in no time at all. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. To help simplify mealtime, visit schwanz.com.